20% increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. Hello, tune here again. Um, my uh, in my setup video, I showed you various joysticks and stuff. So what I thought I'd do is give you a review slash sort of overview, probably review actually of all the joysticks I own, uh, just to let you know whether boss worth getting, and I'll let you know what I've done to them as well. So put me back in front of the camera. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. So I'll start it off. I'll start it off with the NES Advantage. Yeah, as you can see, there's the NES Advantage. Um, it's for the NES, as you may have uh, guessed. Comes with a very strange lead indeed, which has got two NES controller ports on it. So you can put in port one and two at the same time, which is rather odd. But I'll explain that to you now. Um, as you can see, I've got my 100 yen sticker on it. I've got all of them on all my joysticks. The joystick itself, as you can't hear, is not a clicky joystick. It's just your standard sort of leaf, probably leaf switch joystick underneath, I'm not sure. Um, you've got two standard buttons. At the top of the buttons then you can see turbo. You turn these on, you get various speeds of turbo and you press a button to use it. Then on the right side, you'll see player one and two. This is where the cable comes into. You plug the cable in. Let me just put that You plug the cable in to port number two, and then you can flick the switch on the joystick, and it becomes joystick one or joystick two. You also start select, and there's a slow mo switch. Um, you know, a slow mo switch is like they just but he use the start button and but he repeat it on turbo. It's a bit crap, really. It seems on everything. But uh, yeah, that's the NES advantage. They're getting quite collectible these days. Last time I looked, you would probably pay somewhere in the range of, I don't know, 35 quid for it. If you can get one. So the one I've got is in, uh, you know, it's in pretty good nick. It's not a bad joystick. If you need a joystick for your NES, you know, it's better than the pad. Pretty good going. But what I'll do in this review as well, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but I'll try. Uh, I may need to do this, but I shall try. What I do, I find in joystick reviews, no one mentions how big the joysticks are. It's like when I was looking to buy my um, Hori stick, I wanted to know the size of it. It's a, you know, a bit of a big block, and I want, I wanted a decent sized joystick, something that's not going to slip off my lap all the time when you're, you're playing games, you know? So, in this in this review, I'll give you a sort of sizes. So, i got a tape measure here, so we'll measure it out. So it looks like the NES Advantage is roughly 20 centimeters wide by 16 centimeters deep. So it's a pretty small joystick. Um, probably a little bit bigger than a CD case, to be honest. Like so, you know, it stays in your lap. I suppose it it falls off and that sort of thing. But it's a smaller joystick. But at the time when joysticks were small. Um, so NES advantage if you're fed up of using the joy, you know, the actual joypad, I think they're worth picking up, you know, but they're not the most fantastic stick in the world. So let's move on to so you know, should I give a review? I think I out of joysticks, and if I was gonna review one out of ten, I'd probably give it about a five. It's okay, like but you know, it's pretty interesting if you've got an S. So that's the first one. Let's have a stretch over here a minute, guys, to get my second one. Right, my second joystick. If I pan up a little bit to give you an idea. Yeah, this is the official uh, Mad Cats Tetsunoko versus Capcom stick for the Wii. Um, as you can see, it's got an Android N sticker. Uh, as you can see up the top, above the joystick you've got your auto fires and all that which don't work now but I'll, I'll explain this uh, the joystick itself 
comes with uh, Mad Cat's own parts, which are pretty much copies of Sanwa arcade parts. The buttons are not particularly that great. They do stick, and apparently they're prone to breaking quite a bit. And the joystick itself is a copy of the uh, Sanwa arcade stick, but the JLF one. Uh, but it's n it's not as good. It's okay, but it's a bit loose, and it doesn't feel that great quality compared to a Sanwa. But um, with my one, I I've basically cut the uh, the wheel lead off it, and I've replaced it. I don't know if I can show you there. I've replaced it with a PS2 connector. So I think it's got my cable up the top, and that connector you can see on the top is the one that goes into my super gun. But uh, yeah, so I placed it with a PS2 connector. So this joypad is now PS2. Um, I don't know if I can place this down and show you. It's got. Let me get a bit closer. It's got. As you can see, let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can zoom that in a bit. It's got my bubble top, which the bubble tops are pretty awesome. That's a Schmidt two bubble top. Uh, pretty nice. You can hear the stick on the inside. It's quite nice. Inside is a Sanwa JLF stick. It's quite nice with a black shaft on it and the uh, button. And each of the buttons are Sanwa buttons, so they're all nice and soft to press. You know, you can press them really fast, all that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty nice stick. Like um, it's fairly you know it's fairly weighty. It's got um, it's got a metal plate underneath. I don't know whether you can see it. I'll also explain what these black bits are. It's got a metal plate underneath, so it's a fair size. Um, and what you can see, these black bits are here. You always get problems with joysticks. You buy them, they've got these black shiny bottoms, which is all nice. But what happens, unless you're placing it on a table with the rubber legs, as you can see there, the sticks themselves, they, they fall off your lap. They move around, they fall off your continuously so you're pulling them back up to where you are. But what you can do... Which is well, I've pretty much I've done to most of my sticks. You can buy these neoprene sticky sheets, and if you cut these sticky sheets and you put them on your joystick, it's like the stuff you get in wetsuits, and this stuff does not move. You put this on your lap, and the joystick will not move at all. It just grips your trousers or whatever you're wearing, or if you're naked, I don't. Know. You could be naked. I haven't tried it naked, but maybe I'll let you know in the next video. But anyway, if you've got trousers on or whatever, this thing will grip your trousers and it, it just will not move on your lap. It's the best thing I've found. I've tried using the felt, which comes on some of the higher end sticks. But uh, the neoprene sheets are pretty amazing. So that's my Tetsunoku joystick. Um, I would say, as it comes with the Mad Cat parts, the stick is nice, but... The parts are not the greatest quality. If you swap them up for Sanwa parts, or Shimitsu parts, whichever you want, which they do just bolt straight in as well, uh, improves the joystick a fair amount. So what I'll do, I'll give it a, a measure, just to give you a rough idea how big this thing is. Right then, so this is roughly... Oh, hang on. I'm caught in the wrong place. Uh, this is roughly... Roughly 30 centimetres wide by, hard to hold this, one do this instead, by roughly about 21, 22 centimetres deep. And I suppose if you want that, it's about 5 centimetres thickness on the bottom. Uh, it's a fair size stick, it's not bad like. Personally, myself, I prefer a bigger stick, but the one thing I will say about it, the artwork is pretty sweet. I do like the artwork and Ken Eagle at the top. Um, yeah, it's just not a bad stick. I got it when it's PS2. Um, I say as it stands, as it comes through the box, unless you can get it cheap, I wouldn't really suggest it. Um, if you can get it cheap, out of the box, maybe five out of ten, so the other parts are not that great. But if you change it to the sandwich parts, you've pretty much got an arcade, proper arcade stick, you know, as good as pretty much any other out there. Um, so anyway, that's my Tetsunoko versus Capcom stick. So I'll put the camera down a minute, pick a bit of room, and I'll pick out stick number three. Right. 
Here's my third stick. Yeah, this is my converted Dreamcast arcade stick. I really do like the uh, Dreamcast sticks. I'll explain the reason why I do like them. Actually, I'll bring the, I'll bring the other stick back up, and I'll sh I'll show you it. If you look at the Capcom stick, the same as most arcade sticks these days, especially the Mad Cats ones. You got your joystick here, and then you've got your button layout, and this here. And if you look, there's there's literally maybe three fingers at the most in between the sticks. So there's there's not much room in between the stick and the buttons, which feels quite nice. But it can be a little bit cramped at times. So if I move out of the way, and the reason I like the Dreamcast sticks is. If you notice there, there's a huge distance. I can literally put my own ha my whole hand in there between the buttons and the sticks, which uh, gives you a nice bit amount of room. When you've got it on your lap, you can you know spread your arms out a bit and you can play the game. Um, I say these Dreamcast sticks are very nice. They're fairly weighty. Uh, if I turn it over, it's got black felt on the bottom. This has, which is about the first thing I tried. It does a good job of sticking to your trousers, but it still moves around. But it's metal design underneath. Um, you can see I've got my Capcom stickers on. Um, what I've done, this is running on another one of those PS2 sticks. Um, the reason I run PS2, as I mentioned in my setup videos, I've pretty much got PS2 converters for pretty much everything I own. and it, I can use these joysticks on everything. Um, if you look at the artwork, I had that uh, printed and I had to remove the top. I had to put the artwork on there, which wouldn't quite fit, so I did have to shave around the edges where the plate goes down to get the artwork to fit on. You know, it was a bit dodgy in places around the screws, but it does a pretty good job. The artwork's pretty nice. I like it. Um, I got Shimitsu buttons in this one, and if you notice the difference, they're a lot louder. They take a a lot more pressure to press <coughs> than the um, Sanro buttons, but it's all about personal preference at the end of the day. Um, I prefer the Shimitsu stuff. I prefer the joysticks and the buttons. <coughs> Sorry, guys. But, you know, that's not to say the Sanro stuff is amazing as well. It's very soft touch to Sanro, but I don't know, I'm quite heavy on the buttons, and I, I, I think the Shimitsu buttons do suit me a, a bit better for some reason. But I love these uh, clear through green, uh, green buttons. And there's the ball top as well. There's my uh, my snot ball top, as you may want to call it. Um, they say this one's got a, a Shimitsu LS32 stick in it. You can just very clicky. The thing with the Shimitsu sticks over the Sanwa sticks is the travel of the stick. Like if you you can hear the clicking once I get to that angle. They got quite short throw and if you look at the Sanwa things it it clicks by there. So there's more travel. I know it's a bit hard to see on the video but there's a lot more travel on the Sanwa sticks than it is of the Shimitsu sticks. The Shimitsu sticks are pretty... There's pretty hardly any travel on the stick. And it'll connect. Some people... A lot of people prefer the Sanwa sticks for beat-em-ups, but I don't, I don't know whether it's me a bit lazy on the stick or something, but I prefer the Shimitsu sticks. I find double tap in and uh, doing moves a lot easier on Shimitsu sticks. I say at the end of the day, it's all down to preference. Both sticks are really good. Um, I'd say the Shimitsu LS32 probably not the best joystick in the world for beat em ups, but when it comes to shmups and fine control, it's pretty sure not. Uh, yep, so that that's that basically. I converted it on the inside. The only thing you will know if you want to do a Dreamcast stick yourself, these Shimitsu buttons, 30mm buttons, have the 28mm mounting hole. The original buttons that come with this stick. I think use a 26 mil mountain hole and you've literally you've got to get a grinder like a grinding bit on the drill and you've got to grind the holes out it's not fun it takes ages to do and it's a right pain in the ass but if you take the time to do it you can get some pretty nice sticks going on um, the other thing I would say the Dreamcast sticks I think the original buttons and the original stick that um, Sega or whoever used in these are pretty nice you know 
they actually got a decent stick in them and uh, they're quite fine as they are to be honest but uh, I quite wanted um, Shimitsu so I uh, swapped out for Shimitsu stuff so uh, say that's my Dreamcast arcade, arcade stick definitely recommend these sticks they feel nice um, they're not they're a pretty good size I'll, I'll measure that now for you a little rough idea um, give you a rough idea how wide it is Hang on, I might have to put the camera down a minute to get my tape measure to sort itself out. Yeah, sorry about that. Right, so you're talking roughly, it's about 30 centimetres across, the same as the Mad Cats one, and it's roughly 20, 23 centimetres wide, and deep is about 5, is five uh centimeters deep as well so uh, I say pretty much the same size as the lower end mad cat stick but as you can see the if you go back to that one the distance between the stick and the buttons is a lot nicer on these Dreamcast sticks I do prefer the long distance so very good sticks if you can pick them up for your Dreamcast they're well worth it they definitely worth it like a 7 out of 10 and if you change the parts in them you probably you know worth an 8 out of 10 very good stick well worth getting hold of right, so put that down Right then, yeah. let's go to my next stick. This one's a bit more of a beast. As uh, you've probably seen in uh, my one video. Right then, yeah. here we go. Right, yeah. This is my uh, Hori uh, Real Arcade Pro. Well, at least it used to be a Real Arcade Pro. But this is the limited edition Death Smiles arcade stick. As you can see, the artwork is pretty beautiful on you. It's really good. Um, this one's been modded. Mine, it came with the Harori buttons, which there's two Harori buttons on the end here, and they're very wobbly buttons. And as you can see, it doesn't. I should change them out. It doesn't fit too well in the holes, so the buttons are not that great. They work, but they're a bit loose and a bit shitty. But these are Sanwa buttons. These are purple Sanwa. This one, unfortunately, the surround on the button broke, so I left with a red one. Um, as you can see it's got all the connectors you want on it, it's got the auto fire, even got the headset connector which is a very nice feature on a joystick but this one again I've changed it from Xbox um, also this, this, this one's got a Shimitsu LS42 stick which is my favourite joystick reason for this one is, I don't know if you can hear it the throw is amazingly short it clicks there basically you literally have to move it about a mill or so and it clicks they got very short throw on these things and they're amazing for fighting games they're amazing for charge characters, they're brilliant for shoot 'em ups they're my favourite sticks uh, they're a little bit bigger than the Sanwa sticks, you've got to make sure you've got a joystick that'll fit in uh, I say they've got Sanwa buttons on there um, at the back I did add an extra button at the back by here. I'll explain what that is now. Turn the stick back round. Uh, by the way, this stick is pretty weighty. I, it's got to be... I'm not sure. It's got to be somewhere around the £7 mark. It's a fierce size stick. It's, like I said, i got the neoprene strips. You'd be surprised. Those two little small, small strips and it won't fall off your lap. I say full metal. It's fairly robust on the inside. All bolted together. It's quite well made. Um, I say it's fairly weighty as well, it's quite hard to pick it up with one hand. Uh, but what I did with this one, as I did explain in my original video, is I've taken out the original circuit boards and I've bought one of the circuit boards you can buy from China for joysticks. Um, so this one is being converted to PS2, um, PC and PS3. So it's very useful to have a PS3 connector on you. Because I have no sort of um, proper PS3 joy uh, joysticks on the Xbox one, so and it's PS2, which means I can use it on all my consoles, which is fantastic. And the button I fitted on the back is for the PlayStation button. So you press that, so you go to your home button. But uh, I say very nice stick as well. The other thing I say about this stick, I don't know whether you can see it in this video. It's got this like sort of uh, angled edge. On the side, and when you, when you, when you're using your buttons, 
hand fits nicely on this edge and it doesn't it doesn't dig in your wrist or anything. Like I say it's another one where the joystick itself is quite close to the buttons, hence not even three fingers, you know, it's, it can get pretty close. But yeah, that edge really does make a difference to your wrist, it doesn't stick in your wrist or anything. I think I may want to mention these stickers is the layouts. Like this called the Vulix layout, which is like the Vulix arcade machines where the buttons are a, a, a arc. Um, which is not bad, and if you look at the Mad Cats ones, this is more like your standard Street Fighter layout where you've got your f six buttons which are standard straight in the line, and then you've got two offset. Same on the Dreamcast stick as well, I know I checked it on the floor, but I shall show you. Dreamcast stick is as well, it's got your two buttons in a line and two offset. I think I do prefer this layout, it seems a bit more natural to me, the way my hands fit on the stick. But it takes a little bit again, used to, even though it's only slightly, I don't think it's only slightly down, but it takes a bit to get used to, but you know, you get used to it. But I say that's my Huori stick. Um, Decimal, these sticks are pretty pricey to get hold of these days. Probably talking over a hundred quid at least for the Decimal stick second hand. I think because it's based on the cave game, they becoming very rare. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice stick indeed, like it's uh, fairly weighty. It hasn't got no handles or nothing, which is a bit of a bummer. But uh, very nice stick indeed. Well recommended. And it's you know any versions of the arcade pros are, are definitely worth a good eight, nine out of ten. Um, but it, most of them you can get them with Samo parts. You can get them with Schmidt two parts if you look around. So that's how they come in the box normally. I think this one may have come with uh, a Hori stick. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my Deathmall stick. Just pull that out of the way. Oh, I'll tell you one thing I didn't do. Just to give you an idea of the size of this. Let me uh, get my tape measure again. Just to give you the idea how big this stick is. I just largest... I wish my tape measure would stay out. It makes things a little bit easier. I just largest... Hang on, sorry guys. Right. That's as large as size is 40 centimetres. So you can see it's a fair size stick. And height of it is 20, 23 centimetres that way, so it's the same as the Dreamcast. And it's quite a high stick actually, this one. You're talking 7 centimetres high. So it's a fairly high stick, as you can see. Very chunky, very durable. You drop this on your foot, you're just going to break it. And now to my Fiesta Le Resistance stick. This is my pride and joy. This is my favourite stick. I shall show you. I'll have to zoom out a bit because this thing's a beast. This is my Hori Soul Calibre 5 arcade stick. Uh, if you can see it side, I've got my new juice stickers reflecting me in there. Um, this came with full sandwich parts as standard but I swapped them out for an LS40 joystick and if I zoom in a bit it's got a pink metal bat top on top of it. I've customised this quite a bit. I don't know if you can see in here. I got a really cool dust cover with the Street Fighter sort of arrows. Um, pink Shimitsu buttons smoke from it two buttons which are very nice it's even got, I modded this myself, it's pretty cool it's even got a start it's got a start button what's cool with this, in competition you can flip that panel up and you can't press your start button and then you can flip it back down but what I did on the inside of this smoke, it was another smoke button I uh, drew out a little one player guy like on the old arcade machines and I stuck the overlay on the inside so it looks like a little one player button as you see, which is pretty cool. Um, so the other features of the stick, as you can see, it's got pretty beautiful artwork on it. It's got a very nice, very sort of uh, plasticky top on it. it. Seems really thick. It's got a few scratches, but it's scratches, but you can still see the artwork. You see the Soul Calibre. Up here, you've got your autofies and turbos, which pretty much I never use. Um, so this stick is as it came, basically. Um, which is Xbox 360. 
the other features this stick got is I don't know if you can see this it's got handles on it so when you're in competition you carry around you can put your fingers underneath here and carry the stick around which is quite handy the other feature has at the back by right here as you can see my new juice stickers has this little compartment you flip that down and inside there is your compartment for your cables but what I've got in there which I'll, I'll get it out here, yeah. what I've got in there is one of these converters which you can get off eBay uh, what these do is they allow your joystick to become PS3 and they also allow you to use PS2 sticks on your PlayStation 2 uh, they're only about a fiver they work perfect and they've got no lag so I always keep that handy in there if I ever go to um, competitions or whatever so I can easily change my joystick to PS3 so oh. there we go. as I like it tell you the other little smart feature it's got this little compartment that sits in there but where the cable plugs up it's got a little cut out on the side and then the cable comes out the side so I say this thing is this thing is very weighty as well. I'd say it's probably a bit heavier than the other one. That's going to be well in the seven, eight pound mark as well. Very big stick. Um, as you go, the size is very square. It is 42 centimeters wide. The depth on it is 20, 28. So it's the biggest stick I've got. And the height on it is seven centimeters again. The only one thing I would say about the stick is, we were saying before on the other Hori stick, there's that angled edge. I don't know whether you can see it on this one. This one hasn't got an angled edge, but it's got like, um, I don't know, it's almost like a cutout that comes out of the edge by you. And, and if, you, if you're sitting on your lap and you're in this sort of angle, sometimes this edge, this edge can actually sort of stick into your wrist a little bit sometimes. Something because the way you, you where your hands are. Like the reason I wanted this, there's plenty of hand room on it as well. The way your hands are, your wrist almost hits this bit. Sometimes it can bug your wrist. Not always. Every now and then. As you can see with this as well, there's a decent amount of room in between the stick and the buttons. Not as much as the Sega stick, but a fair amount. Um, I say this is the best stick I've used. It's it's a bit of a beast, like I said, it's another one of those ones you wouldn't want to drop in your foot because you break it. But this stick is definitely worth a 9, 10 out of 10. Um, say I changed the parts in it, uh, reason being I prefer the Shimitsu parts. There was nothing wrong with the Sanma parts. It's just I prefer, I prefer Shimitsu parts. So, say in, uh, some of the bits I had to buy from all around the world, I bought this thing from uh, Germany, I bought the ball top from the UK. I bought the buttons and that from Japan. This came from Akubara in Japan or Akuhibra. Uh, my stickers came from Akuhibra in Japan as well with the joystick stickers on them. Um, these came from Monkey Sticker Shop on eBay. He does fantastic stickers, amazing quality. He's super fast on his deliveries as well. So if you ever want the stickers for anything, go to Monkey Sticker Shop. A little bit of a plug for him. Say so this is a limited edition stick cost me 140 quid and then I think I probably spent a good a good 70 quid or more upgrading all the parts in it <coughs> I mean, me. I say you can still pick them up these days maybe for just over 100 quid you can get them on eBay but if you want a, a solid joystick it's not going to lay down this is a one to go for and like underneath as well you see underneath I got a full sheet of uh, neoprene underneath and this sucker just doesn't move on your lap at all. But I don't know if I can put them all out. I'll see if I can get them all on here so you can see them all in one go. Which would be a nice way to finish it. Like I say, as you can see, there's my Hori stick, which is definitely the best stick I've got. That's the My Cat's one, which is pretty good. There's my other Hori stick, which has got some beautiful artwork. 
is my Dreamcast Arcade Stick converted one and uh, my little, little NES Advantage. So anyway guys, that's my uh, joystick reviews. I definitely have a bit of a joystick fetish and I wouldn't mind a few more. I wouldn't mind an um, 8 arc. Uh, silver, they do like a silver one with lights in it. It's pretty stunning. It's got sparkly lights. Anyway guys, that's my joystick reviews. Hope you enjoyed. Bye now.